This morning, the world is watching some horrific images being released from Ukraine, buildings destroyed, homes lost, innocent lives lost, and livelihoods shattered. Kelsey Kernstein was able to speak with some Ukrainians on the ground there who've witnessed the carnage firsthand. Kelsey. Adrian, several rounds of Russian fueled explosions, sirens going off all morning. Ukrainian civilians telling me they fear for their life. I grabbed my daughter and we basically went to the bathroom. Um, it, yeah, it's, I can't describe how stressful this is. Alexander Ivanov says he and his seven-year-old daughter have been taking shelter in the bathroom of his apartment. It's the safest place without windows. And he says his little girl is frightened for her life. She was just trembling and crying. Um, and yeah, so the only thing I could do, I was hugging her and telling the dead with, is with you. And Irina, a student in Kiev, says she woke up to her home shaking. It felt like an earthquake. She says her classes have been canceled with no word of return and buildings around her school are gone. I'm terrified of seeing like my family um, like harmed. I'm terrified of just uh, like all this ending like that. I'm to find that my country will just um, disappear. Her friends taking shelter in metro stations. And when I asked why her and her family wasn't fleeing like others. We don't know what to do now because the traffic from the Kiev, uh, like from the many cities, is, well, uh, huge. The traffic is, is disastrous. Others taking shelter in underground garages, but also with no intention of fleeing. The situation is really dangerous, but uh, I personally have a lot of responsibilities. It's my country. Um, we need to defend it, right? Um, I have lots of friends. I have relatives here. We need to stand up. We have no choice, basically. It's all in war for us. Several Ukrainian civilians I spoke to tell me they plan to stay and fight for their country no matter how bad it gets, Adrian. Yeah, we've been hearing that here on the show uh, as well when we've spoken to folks. Thank you so much, Kelsey. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.